Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972 with another radio review. The Dashing Fine Gifts Mini Retro Radio. It is a mini FM auto scan radio. I bought this radio back in the fall for $5 at Walgreens. Only one other person I know of that has reviewed this radio and that's the Radio Geek. So I figured maybe it's time I give my take on this radio. So uh, I've already cut the packaging to the left just to make it easier to take out the radio. So here's the front of the package right here. And then the back of the package has some instructions on the radio operation as well as important battery information that's on the right. It requires two AA batteries, not included. Some information here. Um, it is copyright by Walgreens Company uh, 2018. It has the walgreens.com website here, made in China. And um, there's a piece of paper in the back, which I'll show you once I take the radio out. It's mainly um, some FCC information about this equipment um, as part of the Part 15 rules of the FCC and some other instructions here. You can pause and read that. And the radio is right here. It has a speaker in the front. A scan button, a power light, and a reset button here. It has volume on-off switch. Has a little handle here. It has legs in the bottom here. So I guess this radio was made in June of last year. In China. You have your antenna here. Back of the rail you have your battery door here. In which um, you keep the two double A batteries. And I'm going to measure it. So, so about three and a quarter inches in length. I'm trying to see. About three inches in height. And then a depth of about, about an inch and a half. The antenna is about about four and a quarter inches and the speaker is about one inch very simple radio to use um, how it performs um, stay tuned and find out so I'll put the antenna up turn on the radio Press reset in order to start from the bottom of the dial. Now, the thing with this radio is if you let go of the radio, the reception goes as well. You pretty much have to hold the radio in order to get the reception, at least with the antenna alone.
filling in for Steve Kerr. Uh, that's Golden that's State right. team. Uh, being pursued down the street by essentially a... Now I'm going to try something here, and I'm going to attach a Kato T1 antenna and see if reception can do any better. Because with this antenna alone, it's not going to do well. Well, it was only five dollars, so um, so the price at least um, and it's an FM only mini scammer. What do you expect for five dollars? Um, um, unless you're holding on to the radio, this antenna alone is not gonna cut it. As far as reception, it's just not. Because even if I were to get my hands away from it and the antennas up, it does very little with reception. So, reception's pretty bad. But what do you expect? I mean, the scanning is fine, it's not too bad. And you can reset and start all over again. Now, attaching a wire to this at least improves the reception a little bit, to its credit. It does. And it is a cute little radio. Um, so, even for $5, it's not terrible. N not good by any means, but it not really terrible either. So, would I run out and get this? Absolutely not. But, maybe you can use this radio as a game, such as uh, guess the radio station. So... 
This would be a good game to play with if you know your radio stations in this area already and play a good guessing game with friends. Uh, maybe you'll make a good game with that, but I digress. So, that's it for my review of the mini FM Auto Scan Radio. Would I run out of get this? No. But, it's a nice little novelty. And it looks cute, so you gotta at least give it points for that. Um, I'm not gonna rate this radio. But I figured i just show you what this radio can do and give you my take on it. So I hope you have a good weekend, everyone. And God bless. Bye-bye.